Good evening everyone and welcome to Journaling Junkie. I'm here today to show you my new uh, design team project for Kelly's Crafts uh, by Kelly. Uh, it will be for sale in my Etsy store once this uh, video goes up on YouTube. Um, it's quite a tome. I've been working with the Medieval Maidens kit. It's absolutely stunning to work with. Uh, I hope you like what I've produced. Basically what I'm going to do is just give you sort of a few highlights of the journal and then I'm going to put it uh, to music. I've tried to do this three times now, this video and not had any success at all, mainly because the file was too big. Uh, so I'm going to have to start to keep stopping it and starting it. So I do apologise for any breaks in it. Um, the journal itself measures eight and three quarters by six and a quarter. It's very heavy. Um, it's a two and a quarter inch spine. And as you can see, this is the open edge. It's quite tight, is that? And that's at four inches already, so it's pretty well packed. Uh, on the previous videos that I did, I forgot to show you all the dingly danglies at the end. Uh, so I'm going to show it now, and then we don't forget. So there's lots of beads used throughout this, um, sari silks, uh, beautiful uh, fabrics, uh, snippets. Um, the cover itself I've made using grey board, so it is very sturdy and hard. Um, I've painted it using two different types of paint and it's given it this really old texture. Now while, as I'm looking at this here, it looks sort of like a jade green, but it isn't. It's actually more of a sage green. Um, so it is a lighter cover than it's showing now. Uh, there's a couple of uh, bookend pieces here just to protect those. Um, beautiful um, metallic ribbon here, it's like a gauze ribbon if you will. And it has, I've left the uh, copper wire that runs down there so you can actually style the ribbon in whichever way you want. Okay, so I'll just take that away. Now, as I say, this isn't giving a true colour as I'm looking at it, so uh, I hope, you know, it looks okay to you there. It's still a beautiful cover, even uh, colour, even though I'm looking, you know, down with a light shining on it. So I've used this, um, I've had it for years, this. Uh, I don't know how old it is, I've no idea. Uh, but it does look very vintagey. Um, I've taken a wooden frame here. I've used gilding flakes on this as I have throughout the book. This image is uh, from Kelly's kit. Um, on the back here, it's a very fine net. Uh, I don't think the camera will pick it up, but it's like got a very fine glitter to it. So on we go. Um, as I say, I'm just going to sort of highlight a few bits to you and then we'll put it to music uh, so that the video don't last as long. Okay, so. This uh, little piece here uh, is from 1924. I know I know it's not medieval, but um, the images on it are very medieval. Um, I've had it quite a while. I got it in a book uh, that I bought from a charity shop. And I've never found anything that I wanted to use it in. But this I just thought was perfect. So this is an original one. I've taken a copy of it. Um, and you'd be able to place it in like that and use it at a spot at the top or at the side. I didn't want to glue it in. Um, whoever purchased it can make that decision what they want to do with this. Okay, I'll just pop that to one side. Um, as I say, I've used gilding uh, flakes through most of the pages or the uh, ephemera and embellishments. 
lots of uh, beautiful fabrics here all with like metallic style um, and as I say the uh, the bottom of it all those beads um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through it uh, with no sound I hope you enjoy uh, this video uh, and I'll see you at the end okay see you soon
hello again well I hope you've enjoyed uh, looking through this journal as I say um, it, it's my design team project uh, for Kelly's Crafts by Kelly um, as I've gone through the main pictures that I've actually fo uh, focused on by you know indicating with my hands they are the pieces I know it's very difficult to sort of uh, be able to pick up on that uh, because I've not spoken through uh, throughout the journal um, but take a look at her medi medieval maiden's kit it's absolutely stunning um, I've really enjoyed working with this it's something completely different for me uh, I hope you've enjoyed watching the video too I'd, as I said I do apologize for not being able to speak the whole way through but this is the third time that I've done this video now um, anyway I hope to see you all soon I'd like to uh, thank all my uh, new subscribers for joining me and of course to all my usuals that call in to see me uh, thank you so much and uh, this will be for sale in my Etsy store as soon as this video is uploaded to YouTube thanks for watching and I hope to see you all very soon. Bye.